Ciao. Hello, my Geminis. It's Guiding Halo here. This is going to be your love reading for August. Let's see what's going on for you guys in love, shall we? Oh, well, look at that. Popping out already. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Queen of Fire. Confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. Wowzers. What are you guys up to? Creating the new, are you? You are ready. You have the resources and the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. So this sounds very familiar with the last reading I did based on my Gemini friends out there to create the new something for themselves, something they can really sink their teeth into, bring about bounty and blessings. Could be dealing with the fire sign. There's been a temporary pause here. Seeds well planted, however, and unnecessary worry. Oh yeah, look at that unnecessary worry is right. Sun card. In Leo season, you guys are going to feel magical, I think. It's time that you will be buckling down and getting the work done. There's an offer coming your way, or you will be offering this offer to somebody that's really about building a very solid foundation that's taken a while to come about. There's your guys' energy, concerned about fairness, justice, and balance after feeling left out in the cold. So yeah, this Seven of Pentacles has been a brief pause, and you feel like you've been left out in the cold in the scenario. Someone made an offer, or you did, and they snubbed it and said, nope, I don't think so. Been there, done that before, but we have the Ten of Pentacles here. Perhaps it was a way to make a lot of money, but you're at a crossroads, and perhaps you already spent a lot of money. You didn't feel like you had money to invest in the scenario. Denying your emotions about how you feel and moving towards love and if this is in a relationship already this is about someone making an offer for you to possibly start a new business and you are I, I don't see you taking that offer not initially because you feel left out in the cold in a different situation in in some sort of balanced way you feel like there's no balance in an offer or something that's been going on for a long time and so you're not willing to put time and effort into something else just yet but that being said when you find out about the financial abundance that it could bring you i see that you sit here at decision moment yet again and you're sitting there as to whether you're going to move forward or not. So I think the decision is between where's my heart space at and where are my finances at? Yep, all up in your head about it, not sure what to do, self-imposed prison. This is a prison we put ourselves in so we don't have to move. It serves us to be in here, we feel, but actually all it does is cut us up and scar us a little bit more. So we have King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy. And Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Someone could be dealing with a fire sign child and a and a there's a lot of people here. <laughs> King of Cups energy. So Cancer Pisces Scorpio and your guys' energy, Corius Libra Gemini, Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. I, I feel like someone's trying to you guys feel like someone's trying to pull something over on you. There's just not enough balance. It's like yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. So there's an earth energy coming in to bring some information your way, or this could be your guys' energy is sitting all up in your pinnacles and feeling balanced and down to earth. It's about something, someone's gonna say something to change your belief system. Perhaps how you viewed things uh, a certain way or <clears throat> A certain time this could be a motherly type figure it's about working together in tandem with the divine learning and growing your spiritual beliefs are undergoing a massive change I'm getting here 
and you're very passionate about it, you feel perhaps the way you were raised or the way you grew up learning about spirituality was kind of a lie. Kind of, it was a lie. We get sevens, it's definitely spirituality, all about the spirit and how you feel justice is being served through the spirit, through the divine. Do you even believe in God or spirit anymore? Walking away from that emotional turmoil and stress, whatever's carried you thus far, what your nine of cups, and you don't feel like you're all up in your head about it. You don't feel that whatever you've been putting energy into this far has been your nine of cups. And we have a wheel of fortune spinning in your favor between this brief pause and the sun card. We have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn going inward to find out the truth with yourself about how you feel. This wheel of fortune spinning in your favor brings passionate messages in a fast way to you. What are these passionate messages about? Is it about passion in love? Someone's feeling all heart centered here. You possibly want, oh yeah, it's about passion and love. It's about that happily ever after. It's about your Ten of Cups, happy home, contented home life, and celebration to boot. Oh, and taking that leap of faith towards it. Maybe you offered something to somebody, being a musician phase, and they turned you down. And then now they've changed their mind. We have a fortune spinning in your favor. I wonder if you're going to accept that change of mind, my Gemini friends. Tell me, what is their best advice, my angels? What's the best advice for my Gemini friends right now? What's the best advice for them? Yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. In other words, take time to meditate. Keep yourself in good health because when this wheel of fortune spins, you are going to be a bunch of busy people. Oh yeah, you have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. Perhaps you wanted to work with somebody on this life purpose. Could have been a soulmate or someone you love very much, but they thwarted your idea. And it made you feel insecure about the scenario. However, perhaps you came about it a different way and they've changed their mind now and I see absolute out and out fulfillment and a leap of faith taken this is beautiful and the wheel of fortune turns in your favor oh yeah Gaia's garden oh my Gemini friends this is so beautiful so reaping what you sow so putting in the time doing the work you know and uh finding different ways around things taping, taking that leap of faith and if you turn down an opportunity or someone else has Trust that there will be another one. There's many opportunities the divine can bring you. And as long as you're putting that effort and energy into Gaia's garden, you're good. Fruition and abundance, my friends. In Gaia's garden, you have everything you need to make your dreams come true. There's no shortage of anything. And you're constantly reminded of the law of supply. Gaia is the infinite spirit manifest in all tangible things. She represents the abundance of nature. When she comes to you as your ally, she invites you to partake of all the blessings of life. There is all, there will always be enough for everyone. Success comes to you from the fruits of your intentions, and all is well with the world as a result. This is also a sign to remind you to give thanks and maintain an attitude of humility and gratitude as your greatest good now manifests for you. Gaia's gifts are sweeter when you share them with others. What a beautiful reading. My Gemini friends, I hope you all have a fantastic August and I hope you find yourself in much love and much light and in the divine's favor. Blessings to you guys. There's much love here for you.